let's connect your OpenAI account to make.com. So first go to make.com and open up a blank scenario. What we're gonna want to add as the first module is an OpenAI module. Can be any module, just select message and assistant or any of the other actions. And I already have this connection right here, but when you are connecting OpenAI for the first time to make.com, you're not gonna see a configurable window. You're going to see a window that says create a new connection or add a new connection or something like that. In order to do that, go ahead and click that button and we're gonna have to name our connection and then paste in the API key that we get from the OpenAI API. So I'm gonna show you guys how to find that API key. Head to openai.com. If you go up to the very top underneath products, you can go underneath API and click API login. Now, the API, OpenAI API is separate and different from ChatGPT+. You can connect and use the OpenAI API without signing up for ChatGPT+. I just want to make sure that you guys are aware of that. If you haven't already, go ahead and sign up. What we're gonna to wanna to do first is we are going to want to create a new project. I think initially, if you, when you sign up for this, you should see this as default project or my organization or something like that up here. We're gonna go over here to this field right here. Mine says automate what academy. This is our project. I think it'll be default project by default. You can keep this as is if you wish, but if you want to keep this specific API key, this project specific to make.com, then go ahead and create a new project right here. Select create new project, name it whatever you want, and it will show up as a new project. Once that's all done, go down here to the left-hand side underneath project, go to API keys, click on that, and it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. I already have my API key created for awacademymake.com. So what we're gonna to want to do is we are going to want to create a new secret key. In the top right hand corner, you'll see create new secret key. Go ahead and select that. Go ahead and name it whatever you want. It's optional, but I would recommend naming it just to stay organized. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, connect OpenAI to make demo. As for the project, I'm assigning this to Automate What Academy, and I'm just gonna go ahead and grant all the permissions. If you wish to, you can get creative with this API key and grant and restrict different permissions. Right here, you can do so by changing these permissions to read, write, read, write. You can do that by clicking on restricted, and then for models, you can change those permissions for the model capabilities, the assistance, all these things. You can change all of these capabilities or these permissions, I should say or you can just change it to read only. I go ahead and just select all, just know that that's possible, but it's more advanced. So once that's all set, we have the name of this connection and we have the project. I'm setting the permissions to all. Go ahead and select create secret key and it will populate you a new secret key, an API key. So what we want to do is we want to copy this, go ahead and select copy and then select done. You can see right here that it shows up if we need to ever reference this API key in the future. Let's go back to make.com and then we just paste in that API key to the API key field. Again, this is in the open AI app, create new connection or add new connection. We're naming our connection. Let's go ahead and let's name this one, connect to make dash demo. We pasted in the API key and go ahead. If you want to, you can list your organization ID. I don't do this. I think it's optional. If you want to, you can go back to the OpenAI API, go to settings, and then organization general, and you're gonna find that organization ID right there. But yeah, once that's done, go ahead and select save, and you have successfully connected your OpenAI account to make.com. Now, whenever you want to utilize the OpenAI app and all the different modules like message and assistant or using the whisper model or just a regular chat GPT completion, you can do that. You just need to make sure that you're selecting that connection that you just made. You can see I'm currently utilizing this connection, connect to make dash demo. So the last thing we need to do is we need to go back to the API, OpenAI API, and we need to fund our account. I believe that the minimum amount that you can fund your account is $5. So in order to do that, again, go to settings and then go to billing on the left-hand side, and then you need to add to credit balance. Right now I have $19.45. You may need to add your payment method here, any preferences for billing information, all that stuff. Go ahead and add to credit balance, select that. And then you can see right here, enter an amount between $5 and $980. That's because I already have about $20 in credit balance. 
So it should say, if you haven't funded anything and you have your balance at zero, it should say enter an amount between $5 and $1,000. Now that I'm thinking about it, it might be different depending on the usage tier that you're on. I think I'm on usage tier number three. As you're starting out, you're gonna be on tier zero or tier one. Just know when I'm making this video as of November of 2024, the minimum required amount is $5 and that will be plenty at least for initial testing and just playing around with it in make.com. If you haven't, go ahead, add your payment method and then select continue and it will charge your card the amount that you enter up here. And then you're all set. You can start playing around with make.com and accessing and making calls to OpenAI. And what I mean by that, really simply, anytime I'm adding one of these OpenAI modules right here and then creating a completion, just messaging chat GPT, Again, I'm selecting my correct connection right there, connect to make dash demo, and then I'm selecting the model, and then I'm adding my message, role as user, text, and then I'm prompting away with my prompt. So anytime that make.com kicks on and runs through one of these modules, it is going to use and deduct the credits from your credit balance. Pricing overview, if you just head to openai.com, go to API and then pricing, it'll take you to this page, what I like to do is I like to toggle this box on show prices per 1000 tokens. And then you can scroll down and see how much each model costs per 1000 input and output tokens. And there you go. Have fun with it, guys.